ground here covered in dirt it's going to be quite slippy so just be careful especially this it's covered in what looks like cow spreading stuff so if you slam on on that surface then you are very likely to lock the brakes up and go straight on luckily for me i'd be okay not because this car has abs but because i know how to cadence brake which is if you're really struggling and your abs isn't locking up properly it isn't stopping you from locking up properly should i say you can continuously tap the brake pedal which is your your own manual abs basically and it does definitely work it saved me a few times you guys might think well why are you lifting it off the brake sure that's gonna like not slow you down as much as just keeping your foot on the brake but that's not always the case i did see a big truck up in front so we'll catch up to the back of that quite soon i would have thought yeah yeah Tell you what, we are actually going to loop it round here. Just because I'm not too sure where the road goes down there, so I'm going to turn back this way. Hopefully, get some more spirited driving for you all. Popping quite a lot is the exhaust. your car as much as I do with mine but my car I service it very often new plugs new air filters and stuff like that I do it very often so I can get away with pushing it a bit harder really if you don't service your car very often then I wouldn't recommend driving like this because you will break something more than likely that many that went this way because I don't want to come flying around corner and he's stopped in the middle of the road. See there? Look at that. It's very light over the loose gravel. So as I said before just be very careful. Look look at how, how light the steering's gone on this loose gravel. to learn how to drive properly of course you, you can experiment on loose gravel that will teach you how to properly correct the slide and stuff like that i already know about that though so i'm not too worried always be careful when there's people outside because you never know if you put a ladder up you might fall off that ladder into the middle of the road it's unlikely but it could happen so it's just not worth the risk. As I said, always leave your car in a responsive gear. If, you, if you're trying to go fast, if you know the road and stuff like that, always leave the car in a responsive gear. situation like that is they keep hold tight of the wheel that's very often not what you want to do you, most of the time you want to let go of the wheel because the car will correct itself if you're on the throttle especially the car will try and correct itself and if you hold the wheel in a position and the car snaps like that then you're either going to really hurt your hands or you're going to crash because the car will snap to the other direction like it did there for me and you'll be facing it in that direction so it'll snap and then you'll just go to that side so make sure you're aware of stuff like that if you're in a front wheel drive car it's not really the same 
if you get oversteer in a front wheel drive car, you're very lucky. I had it quite a lot in my front wheel drive car because it was on very skinny rear tyres. But driving that got me to know how oversteer feels like in a low power car. And I've got to this, which is a little bit more powerful. Obviously not as fast as some other cars. slammed on and you're in the air like we just were and you come back down and land with the brakes on you're you're very likely to damage something or you just lock up and go straight now this person looked to be taking a photograph back there so hopefully he's a tourist and gets out of the way might think I'm revving it quite high but as I said leave it in a responsive gear if you're not worried about petrol and stuff like that then you're not going to do too much damage obviously there's tolerances and stuff like that but these cars are tested for them to be specially aware this cyclist is going very slowly he might wave me by if he sees it clear or then he might not Probably couldn't even pick it up on the camera, but the back end went 
and I had to very quickly correct it before it snapped. Having to manage the snap. 
if you push it really hard, which I don't think I can really do on this road, then it gets a lot less predictable and it's a lot trickier to correct the slide. guys i really hope you enjoyed some of the more spirited driving hopefully it should have made it a good video to watch and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you all soon peace out